story short, I was raised by really wonderful, funny parents. I, I had an amazing childhood. I know some people have had pretty um, challenging childhoods. That was not mine. I grew up in Lusby Lane, on Lusby Lane in Brandywine, Maryland. I, people remember that I spoke years ago. I mentioned that we didn't get indoor, indoor plumbing until I was 18 years old. And the shock and horror of people thinking, oh my God, like I had flown in from the moon. We really didn't, we had an outhouse. And I mentioned at that time, and I'll mention it now. To this day, I have never seen a restroom too nasty to you. It's just, I was in the I'm in, I'm out, and gone. So also, an interesting is I was raised during the time of segregation. So even though we lived on Leslie Lane and we had white neighbors, and we were a black family, I've been black all my life. Um, over the years, they called us different things. I'm not so nice. But anyway, having said that, um, it wasn't until I was in fourth grade that we actually got to go to school with um, segregation ended in Prince George's County, Maryland, and we got to go to school with our white neighbors. And at that time, my parents said, please, join everything. Do everything that you can do. Whatever they let you do, do. Don't worry about what people say. Don't worry about who thinks you shouldn't be there. Just know that you should be there. And I will tell you, the, my parents were really, really involved. It wasn't, we didn't do a lot of extracurricular activities. I mean, at that time, we weren't in a whole bunch of different things. We mainly had family time. And my mother always, and father together, but mom mainly, they were very hands-on, and sometimes really hands-on. <laughs> but they, um, they felt that there were certain things that we needed to do, and if you were gonna be nice to anybody, if you were gonna be good to anybody, it needs to be in your house. So I will tell you, my mother had certain mommy-isms that I have told my children, you know we don't wanna sound like our parents? I do. My mother would always say, do your best, don't try to be the best. And I thought, why not? You want to be the best? She's like, no. Do your best. If you if you do your best, you can be happy every day. If you try to be the best, that's too stressful because you got to keep up in your game. Then she would always say that it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And then she made us kind of realize what nice was because we had to be nice to each other as siblings. I'm the oldest of six. My mother had six children in under nine years. Amazing. She should have an S on her chest. <laughs> and it wouldn't be for sanity most of the time. But I will tell you, she used to always tell us to dress our very best. So we had, unlike today, we had dress clothes, we had Sunday go to eating clothes, we had plate clothes. And generally your plate clothes were your overgrown clothes, clothes you no longer fit, but you didn't care because nobody was gonna see you. But she said if you come to dig a ditch, Look your absolute best. You might get dirty when you're there, but at least present the best that you have. So that was exactly what I always did. Every job interview I went on, whatever it was, I would dress or overdress for the occasion. Um, when it came to relationships, we had to like our brothers and sisters. So I found the oldest of six. We keep an email chain going every Friday. We all check in with each other. We are very close to the family. It's not that we didn't from time to time have arguments, but my mother would always say, it is too small in this house to fight. You have got to learn to get along. And she meant it. 